Hello everyone, welcome back to more Final Fantasy IV. I'm Jeff. And I'm Andrew. And we are continuing up the mountain of ordeals. Oh boy. To become a paladin. Uh, great. Paladins are good. By definition. We still uh, have the scary yeah. face guys. Oh god, they're so horrible. They're souls. We're just killing souls. You know, friendly stuff. I uh, like the orangey one. The orangey one? The Revenant? Yeah. And now, oh, I also figured out I can switch how to switch between them. A little bit of playing off screen. So I can just switch between them without having to make them do an action. I figured out how to do that. Yeah. It's the Y button. <laughs> yeah. Usually is in other Final Fantasy games. Played a Final Fantasy in a long. Well. Yeah, it's been a while since I've actually played. Aside from this one, I mean. It's another Revenant. Uh, I think the last one I played was Seven. Yeah? Like five years ago. Oh, fair enough. I got him all the second level spells, though. Great. So we'll uh, really be able to ravage them with fire. And other. other spells. Fira! Well, that works. I could do that better. I know it's not not four digits, but you know that wasn't a little kid we were hitting with, with the sword. Yeah, yeah, I guess. Mm, treasure chests. I think it would make for an interesting game sometime. We had to, you had to be the guys putting the chests out there. Sounds like a terrible game. It'd be a great game. No, no, it's awful. Why? Because uh, no. Because you have to give your loot for people that you don't even know. You can have, like, spare loot. No. I'm not gonna put, like... I'm not gonna put my valuable tent in a chest. That'd be great. No. Uh-huh, you could have so much fun with that. Well, that's really, like... <clears throat> have you ever heard of the, uh, the Atelier series? I have not. Alright, well... It's, a. Uh, it's quite big on the whole crafting thing, right? And, uh... Basically, the to sum up the game, you know how in, in a lot of these games you get to like the final dungeon, and then you're like right before the final boss, and then you're like, mm, hey, it's a guy with like stuff to sell me. Yeah. Uh, you're basically that guy. Oh, okay. You're like this super merchant crafter. Yay, we got the entrance all complete. Antidotes. Oof. I don't think anything's poisoned us up here. Oh, well. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Brains. Brains. Oops. I, I keep forgetting that it... I wish that it took off auto between fights. Oh, it doesn't? No, it doesn't. Well, it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm a little perturbed by that fact. But I know what I need to do. Twincast. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that, oh, am I right? He finally got poisoned. I guess we did need that. Uh oh. Oh, they're gonna. Oh, you ruined my twin. Ca oh yes, it missed. He's gonna be quite upset if they ruined the twin cast again. But, uh, oh, no, you dare. Thank you. Some pretty good luck. Or was it skill? They might have equipment that helps them against it. I'm not sure. Jeez. Oh, that was effective. Throw some big numbers. I like big numbers. But I'm pretty sure this game has the uh, 9999 limit. Yeah, it should. It wasn't until... The only games that really broke over 10 and up. Oh, 10. Oh, actually, Final Fantasy VIII had it. But you could beat it? Yeah. On, with, like, individual attacks? With Eden uh, GF. Oh, right. Could go yes. over it. Yes. And, well, I guess, in, in a way, 7 did. With Knights of the Round, because it would hit again and again. So, it, the one spell would hit for more than 999. Yeah, but, I mean, uh, there was Omni Slash 2 and uh, mm. Squall's Lionheart. Mm, fair enough. And... I think there was something like that in 9. Lots of creative ways they got around the limit. Yeah, for sure. Knights of the Round. 
<laughs> Alright, and now time to make myself a sandwich. Knights of the Round was funny, but I always liked doing quadcast Bahamut Zero. Okay. Because it took like 15 minutes to cast it all. Wouldn't I thought Knights of the Round took longer to cast. It did, but I could never get it but to quadcast. But you didn't want to spend four hours. I could never get it to quadcast. Yeah, I don't know why or if I just didn't even bother, but... Alright. Maybe I didn't have enough MP. Hey, look! MP. Oh, why the heck is he here? Cause, well, he's going to explain very shortly. Tell her! <clears throat> See us all! So, you came seeking Meteor, too! Meteor? That kind of reminds me of the pizza, actually. Have you ever had Meteor pizza? No. Yeah, it's like... It's the meat lovers, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. It's meat lovers. Anyways, Porum. Uh, is that the... Thing? I can't the remember... I think it's Palum's the girl. And Porum's the boy. You know about Meteor? Then you must be... Yeah. Mortal, the boy is Talon. My apologies. You're that old sage Teller, aren't you? Palum, show some respect! I think that's you. Yeah. Um, it's truly an honor to meet you. Damn these twins and their stupid little similar names. Yeah. We've come here at the request of the Elder of Mysidia. To keep an eye on... To keep an oh. eye on... Fuck! Pardon me. As I was just saying, we've come to guide Cecil to the top of the mountain. My name is Porum. I'm Palum. So, you really are that old wizard. You're famous in Mysidia, you know. With a face like that, I'm surprised he's not famous. Ugh. Uh, it's like Lady Gaga. Never thought I'd meet you in a place like this. Mercedes children! I see. That old elder, elder <laughs> wants to kill the kids again. Where have Edward and Rydia gone? They're dead! <laughs> yeah, oh, look at him. He's like, oh. Just twist the knife more, why don't you? <laughs> Our ship was attacked by Leviathan as we sailed for Baron. They were. They were left to the sea! <laughs> uh. So! They both died! <laughs> you suck. So subtle. I'm afraid so. And Rosa has fallen into Golbez's hands. That must be his girlfriend. Hush. Weren't you planning to go after Golbez? Yes, but my magic is no match for a man of his enormous strength and character and armor and that flashy helmet. It's much better than yours. I've been searching for the legendary magic of meat. It's a long, it's long lane sealed away, and I know not where. But I feel a powerful aura radiating from this place. I believe the spell we seek may well lest within this mountain. Lest, sorry, appearing through combined my R's and my L's. But that spell's dangerous. If a man of your age were to cast it, I am well aware of my age. It's twenty-seven. And of the dangers. And I would gladly lay aside my own life if it meant the end of his. I will defeat Gomez. Mm, dot, dot, dot. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Grown-ups, always have to be so pig-headed. Well, you're certainly not in danger of growing up anytime soon. So you just keep quiet. Why have you come here, Cecil? To become a paladin. A dark sword cannot slay Gormez, and I have no love of the loathsome thing it is. I'll be glad to be rid of it. Who's Gormez? You really don't know anything, do you? He's the one manipulating Baron. Yes! The root of all this foul madness. Madness. A paladin, you say? It seems my hunt was not mistaken. There's more to this mountain than appearances betray. I uh, feel like he should know that. Any place called the Mountain of Ordeals. 
that has had people sent to it before. He should have known. It could have just been like a really difficult hike. I guess. Filled with well, all the monsters would explain it. Why don't we continue on together? I'll never leave your side again. Oh, <laughs> With us forever, buddy. Hey, more trail map done. Ooh, high potions. Great. I do like me some potions. All right. Let's see what magic can he perform for us today. Uh, there we are. Oh, nothing good. Much the same. Much the same indeed. Yes, even the little kids are better than him now. They have more hit points, more magic points. I'm sure they do more damage. That's got to be embarrassing. For a man of his age, 27 years, to be eclipsed by children. You know, it happens, okay? Can't judge him. All right, fair enough. I shouldn't talk. I'm older than that. Almost dead. Yeah, you're ancient. Um, hey, Palom leveled up. Great. And so did Porum. Oh, she, she did a little clap. You see that? Yeah. That's adorable. <clears throat> Azuna. That's the anti-everything spell, I think. Yeah, it cures everything. All right. You know, I'm going to go into my inventory. And I'm going to drink some of these potions. I'm not sitting around doing nothing. Okay. Useless potions. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go left. What do you think the completion will be for this? Ooh, I'm gonna go with a tent. Three tents? Mm, just. Ooh, that's a good. Ooh, actually, I'm gonna go with ethers. Three ethers. I'm gonna go with. Uh... I don't even know. The suspense was killing me! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I, I blanked. <laughs> what What are the items in this game? Uh, Three Hadoukens. Do I have any antidotes? antidotes? Yeah, we just got five. Oh yeah! Well, too late. He'll just have to be poisoned forever. Forever, We should, uh, we should put Tell in the back row again. Isn't he? No. Oh. Well, I better fix that. You're right. Ah, well, he's almost dead, anyways. All right, fix he that. Is? Oh, he's old. He's 27. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, party. All right, there we are. Tella. There you are, Tella. Nutella. <laughs> oh, I love Nutella. <laughs> oh, he's even lower level than them now. It is terrible. And his glasses are circles in this picture. Are than octagons. They don't much look like glasses at all. They certainly don't look like octagons. They just look like he likes his drugs. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh, drugs are bad, okay? He, hey, he needs it for his glaucoma. Are you trying to convince me or the audience? Ah, uh, a little of column A and a little of column B. Wow, Cecil is so much faster. Yeah, you'd think he wouldn't be covered in armor like he is. Compared to kids? <laughs> Especially compared to kids. Compared to anyone, really. Except a likewise heavily armored person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what the heck? I'm a little surprised he didn't kill them. Alright, well. I guess I'll just have to kill them. Good job, Tyler. You hit for a whole <laughs> six. He's the best. He's replacing Edward right now. <laughs> He's more useful than Edward. He knows beginning spells. I suppose. Now we should be approaching a point where I can t pitch a tent. If you know what I mean. Oh, I know all too oh, well. Look. Speaking of pitching a tent. Oh, swing. Hello, Lilith. Let me just... Uh, nothing here. There we are! Someone who can use decent magic. And I'm gonna use a Cura. Alright, let's take a look at our Lilith, weak to fire, 700 hit points. 
Alright. Well, we luck we've got the death sword. Oh. Oh. Alright, there we go. Speak of the devil. Speaking of the death sword. Ooh, ooh a silver apple. I don't it's, know what that does. It's no golden apple, but I mean, you know. You know the legend place. of the golden apple? Second place. It's Mexico wow. 50. Holy, oh. you should save that for... Uh, uh, I'm going to save that for later. For later, yeah. Uh, there was originally three golden apples, you know. So I guess that covered first, second, and third. Um, You're crazy. No, no. Crazy. Well, the guy was trying to trick uh, Atal At Atalanta, I believe, her name was, in the Greek myth. He used three of them. You're crazy. And whenever she got close to <clears throat> beating him at, at a race... Oh, an ether! I was close. He would drop an apple, and she'd pause, because they were so shiny. You know those ancient Greek myths? Ooh, piece of candy. Pretty much. Ooh, piece of candy. Pam! Stop making noises! I didn't make any noises. Hmm. Suspicious. I'm scared. You should be. Only snakes hiss. The snakes are bad. They are kind of bad. Uh, all right. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna twin cast. Wait, who could okay. defend? I don't Everyone know. can. Okay. Uh, it's a in this one it's a standard thing you can do that you can defend. Because wasn't it just a paladin only thing? Before? No, he defends other people. Oh. This is you can defend yourself. So you gotcha. take, he'll take less damage this way. And apparently they've put him to sleep. Oh, he's awake. Yay! Good thing it's not like in Pokemon. I'm not familiar enough with Pokemon to know what happens. If your Pokemon's asleep... Okay. ...and something attacks it, oh. it still has a chance to not wake up. That's terrible! Yeah. So you Pokemon just... satisfacts are... Horribly overbroken? They can be pretty cruel. Alright. They can also work out really well, though, so... Hmm. Twincasting fail. Damn it! Alright. We're just gonna have to kill these things the old-fashioned way. With fire. And by that, I mean Fura. Gazunte. <laughs> uh, you know... As much as I, I, you know, I did some leveling off screen to help this, they're still eating into the hit points quite heavily. Yeah. Yay! So it's a level up. Hooray! We're smarter. Hey, Tell leveled up too. Woo! And his strength didn't go down. Yeah, but his inte intellect went up a little. Jackpot! Yeah, there we go. Achievement achieved. But you said they can't see that. That's true. Um, apparently, the way my system records is, you won't be able to see my. Achievements, but it happened. It's a real achievement that happened. We got it. We got it. All right, there we are. Pura. You're grooving to the uh, the lovely music of the mountain. Antidote. 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 Oh yeah. I'm terrible. You know what? I think we're gonna take a short break here, and we'll continue in a moment. Great. See everybody soon. Yeah. See you later. <laughs>